Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the mesh modeling tool, Inset. Now the Inset tool is really good for creating new faces in geometry and allowing you to scale it at the same time. So it's a little bit like the Extrude tool, it's a little bit like just scaling, and it's kind of a combination of the two. Let me show you what I mean. Now you can toggle the inset key by selecting a face and hitting the I key on your keyboard. That's the hotkey for inset. And when you enter into the hotkey for inset, you'll get this dotted line that appears and you can uh, scroll that in and take it too far or you can pull that out and it will eventually stop at the size of the original face. Now what's really cool about this is so it's gone ahead and created new faces for us. And let's say we wanted to pull this out, we could hold control and pull that out, push that in, hold control, push that in, and now we've got ourselves a little bit of a point uh, to the uh, the cube that we were working on. Kind of looks like one of those like 90s uh, metal chokers that people would wear to be edgy, but there we go. We've got one of those spikes now. And that's basically the inset tool. Uh, so you can do some pretty cool things with this right off the bat. So uh, if we have the tool active, we don't have to hit I, we can just click and drag. Now I will tell you it's important uh, that you don't get right up on the center of the face when you do this. If you click and drag, you're going to have a very small uh, window to manipulate that face. Um, and then if you go past that, you'll see that it just resizes it. So when you do this, go a little bit away from the face so that you can click and kind of more accurately place the inset where you want. And we've inset that. And then I'm going to inset again, but instead of zooming in, I'm just going to hold control and pull or push in. And now it's going to create a little cutout for us. So the inset tool is a very powerful tool. It's just for you know adding some extra faces and you can see how this would be really helpful. Uh, let's say we take this all the way around and uh, with these faces selected, I could then inset this, leave that in place and let's just make sure that that's going to, um, it is offsetting even, so that's good. Uh, then we can do it again, hold control, go in a little bit, leave it in place again, and one more time, and then hold control and pull that out. And now we have uh, kind of a little sci-fi type ridge on our thing, and it no longer looks like one of those 80s I uh, think this actually looks like something you might put on top of a fence post. All right, so we do have some options for the inset in the operator panel. And so let's just take a look at these real quick. The boundary determines whether or not open edges will be inset. The offset even uh, allows the uh, scale of the offset to give a more even thickness. Uh, we also have offset relative which will scale the offset by the lengths of the surrounding geometry. So you'll notice that when we turn that on, it gets a little bit bigger. Um, if we turn off offset even, it kind of returns back to its original shape. Um, we also then have edge rail, where this essentially uh, creates a situation where the vertices will slide along the original edges of the inner geometry instead of along the normals. Then we have the thickness. Now thickness here, uh, when it's at zero, refers to the original thickness, but if you start to move this to the right, you'll see that thickness goes uh, too far, and it will continue to go in the opposite direction, uh, up to one, or we can take this back to zero. You do want to be careful. You don't really want to inset it this way uh, because those faces kind of cross each other and we get a little bit of mesh shearing, but we'll take this back down to zero and it should be fine. Then the depth will allow us to change the size of that material or um, you know as far as how far did it get uh, inset away from its original place. And we can take that pretty much as far as we want or negative pretty much as far as we want. We also have uh, outset. This allows us to create an outset rather than inset. Uh, basically that means it causes the geometry to be created surrounding the selection instead of within. See if we can get that to show. So if we grab these and click and drag with outset, you can see that it uh, it created the geometry, but it created it 
on the outer piece instead of on the inside. So that's just the outset. Uh, you can then you know, select the outer piece, which that's the rim, since we did outset here. Um, you can now see it's the selecting the outer piece of what was just inset. We can also see that it will uh, create an inset individual. This is a little bit more uh, easy to see if we select these and pull them out. Um, if we select the individual, they are no longer connected. We've simply inset them along their own normals. All right, uh, so that's pretty much everything you need to know about the inset tool. It's a pretty powerful tool and uh, should serve you well. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and I will see you in the next video.